Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Puno, Mayor Abelos, and the other officers of the League of Cities, city mayors from all over the country. Happy New Year to all of you. To all the members of the League of Cities of the Philippines. And let me say, you know, Ben Hur was talking about the past years of his presidency of the, of the League. And reviewing these past years, let me say that the cities have been among the most efficient and effective of the national government's LGU partners. You have many successful programs, and your most successful programs ensured not only the economic viability of your cities, they also helped to enable our country to escape recession last year, even as two-thirds of the world was devastated by the worst economic slowdown in 60 years. Not only did our growth stay positive, but business writer Tony Lopez even quoted Han C. Many of you know him because you have SMOs all over the cities. Han C. said, that SM malls had their best year ever in 2009. That means that whatever the macro figures are about positive growth are translated into spending power for the ordinary Filipino. But not only SM, but also your cities are to be congratulated for their success because most of the SM malls and other major businesses, for that matter, are located in the cities. And your governance plays a big role in business friendliness. In fact, Ben Hur was talking about the different things you've been doing to make your cities more business friendly. Certainly here in Metro Manila, we have been uh, proud to tell the world about the cutting down of red tape because of, the, because of the shortened and also synchronized licensing and permit system. And I understand that there is a continuing effort to have every city achieve ISO certification. These efforts, these achievements are particularly impressive. And the success of the cities is due in no small part to the leadership of the League of Cities. So for the hard work Ben Hur and the other officials of this League have put to improve the quality of governance in our cities, congratulations and thank you. <laughs> Hindi matatawaran ang naitulong ng League of Cities sa kaunlarang tinatamasa ng iba't ibang mga syudad. And therefore, what the nation has achieved in the last nine years is not only a record of the achievements of national government, but is also a story of your success. Why? For one thing, Ben Hur is right about the number of persons who now live in cities and urban areas. When my father was in politics, 70% of the people were in the rural areas. But now, that's no longer the case. The people are in the cities. Urbanization is a joint product of demographic growth and economic development. It is, they say, an irreversible feature of modern life. I remember a few years ago, there was a book about trends in the 21st century. And one of these trends is increasing urbanization. This presents opportunities, and you know more than I do, as well as problems. It presents rewards, and you know more than I do, together with the risks. And that's why I can understand the concerns that the League has over the increasing urbanization. 
including the increasing number of cities. At the end of the day, the issue is performance and results. And if we are to review what we did together, Ben Hur reviewed some of the things we did together. We, all of the things that Ben Hur said I did for you was an implementation of what together you and I set out to do nine years ago. And that is to get our economy moving again, to regain control over the fiscal insanity that we inherited, and invest in the people for the first time in a generation. By any measure, our economy has performed better than any economy in the Philippines over the past 30 years, peaking at more than 7% growth in 2007 before the global recession. I will quote Tony Lopez again, who points out, during this period, per capita GNP more than doubled $1,000 in year 2000 to over 2000 by 2008, even if 18 more Filipinos were born. Still, per capita income doubled. And the economy itself more than doubled. It was $75 billion in year 2000. It's worth $189 billion today. That's more than doubled. And how does it translate into the lives of ordinary Filipinos? The best measure is the people who buy from SM. Why do they buy from SM? 